You know what I'd like to do with those Facebook people? I'd like to mm. strip them naked and hang them, get them by their ankles and dip them repeatedly in and out of a great big dustbin filled with water. Mm. I mean, them making money and they mm. I mean through the morning there's been different uh, different comments from Facebook from Facebook they, I mean they're the agreeing latest... that it is sickening they're, yeah they're, but they're, they're, no but issue with that but what they're saying to us is that you know that we that this is being highlighted and that, that you know that this child could potentially be helped but I don't think that's the reason behind it I think it's about money well they, they originally think... said that they've allowed it to stay online uh, saying it doesn't breach its policies uh, yeah. they're now saying by drawing attention to a distressing situation uh, Facebook is seen from experience that it can and does lead to the rescue <coughs> of a child. So oh. basically well, they can identify who the people are that took the I mean, it's watching a child being horrendously abused. But the I awful mean... thing is, not just that Facebook um, allowed this thing to stay on, but that it's been, hasn't it been visited and tweeted and retweeted Hence thousands and thousands of times, money hence making. Facebook making mm. a lot of money about it. But what does it say about everyone yeah. the rest of us i think that too who, who, that it's gone viral like this that people who at the same the time they may very well be condemning it and saying it's awful it's cruel it's dreadful but they're sending it a copy of it to their friends and i think we've all been horribly coarsened by social media mm. i think mm. to a certain extent i think our standards we've we've mm. got we've developed a kind of compassion fatigue you know, i agree we see so much awful stuff that we no longer react to it. Well, I if think as well that way. if... Well, that's just yeah. what you were going to say, wasn't well, it? If you, you saw this in real life... you saw that, you would turn away. You would be so Or you horrified. would grab the baby and stop but it people happening. Just, do, well, oh, look, I mean, I can't watch it. I've just seen the picture. Yeah, I cannot I've not watch watched it that. either. It's, it's, but I agree. If you saw it in real life, you would do something about it. So why do you make it different if you see it on a computer? I've attacked Facebook many times over the years in print. And uh, a few years ago, I wrote a piece about how many people have they got monitoring this material. Right. And back then, uh, it's very, very hard to find out how many people they have got sitting at their various places around the world monitoring the output. But the truth of the matter is, even if they had a million people monitoring the Facebook output, mm. Output, it could never, people could never monitor everything because the nature of Facebook is that it changes every nanosecond mm. and more images are added and taken away and doctored. And then the minute something's on it, it's altered or people, you know, make their own versions of things. So Facebook is in a difficult position. The fact of the matter is they can try and monitor, but they mm. can't monitor. So in the end, if you believe in the freedom of speech, you have to reluctantly accept. As, Julie, uh, as Judy has said, that it's us mm. who are partly to blame. We create these images, we look at these images, and we create the appetite for them. If mm. we all turned off Facebook for yeah. a day, wouldn't that be a good thing? Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I think that people should start examining themselves before, you know, saying they something should, should be done. I mean, I understand they can't monitor everything, but the strength of feeling, the, ob the fact oh, that obviously mm. this is horrific abuse for the baby, they should respond quickly and take that down. Now, they have that information. I can understand that this could lead to, to finding the perpetrators, but take it down. But don't yeah. take it down and give it to Do the you police. Do you think it should you be taken Don't it you think that maybe, maybe, maybe people whose job is to look at this kind of stuff all day long and judge it, get some kind of uh, threshold which is sort of um, what's the word they, 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 they expect to be yeah. shocked they're looking for things yeah. that shock because that's yeah. what people view yeah, on Facebook over the last five years we've seen on Facebook the rise or well, on all social media the rise of beheadings of mutilations of abuse of babies and so on and it's now you know, a tidal wave of this stuff going mm. out 24-7. Uh, newspapers have to decide as well what when a bomb goes off in a crowded shopping area, what images mm. they're going to show, you know, how much they're prepared to uh, distress their readers. In, uh, but at the same time, you've got to balance it with showing people what the world we live in has now become. The police would say that they have to monitor Facebook and social media because mm. through monitoring images like this, they do save children yeah. from abuse, but it's a slow process. But I think the truth of the matter is you can't put everything back in the bottle and you can't stop it. And you can stop this video, but out there will be 5,000 even mm. worse. But I just think somewhere now, OK, it's seen, I understand, just out of respect to that baby. Yeah. I just think that's not, I don't want another million people looking to, at that to, baby to watch it. Take and, it down now. And also as well we might be 
you know, arguing the case over monitoring it. It's seen now. We've seen it. Surely yeah. they've seen it. Um, I have to say as well, a, a Facebook spokesperson has said that in this case, um, what they're doing is they are removing any reported incidences of the video from Facebook that are shared supporting or encouraging this behaviour. In cases where people are raising awareness or condemning the practice, they're making reported videos uh, as disturbing, which means that they have a, a warning screen so that the, the image is accessible to people only over at the age of 18. So basically anybody who's sharing it going, isn't this great, they're taking that down. If you're over 18, it's OK. <laughs> I mean, and I don't like the idea of an editor deciding who can, who can and, can and who can't. It's ridiculous. Mm. Okay. So one minute is freedom of speech, and the next minute it's change. Yeah. I know. Yeah.